Hi, today I'll show you how to make this one-stroke monochrome black nail art that I made for the Cosmoprof Asia. A gradient with two colors with this amazing pastel fluorescent polish from Color Club's collection Girl About Town. With a small sponge I apply one color on one part and another color on the other half. Now, I tap the sponge on a white base to make a gradient. Don't move the sponge in all directions, otherwise everything will mix up. I try to tap approximately at the same place every time. Here I add some orange polish since some was missing. Here's the final result on fake nails. I apply another layer to get very bright colors. I place the colors in the same order and I tap with my sponge. Before the polish dries, I sprinkled very tiny glitter flakes. It's like pigment powder. I sprinkled the glitter flakes from EF with a fan brush. Now you can see me put some glitter flakes. Press to make sure it sticks. Then I cleaned everything with pure acetone and a square brush. I use pure acetone because it's easier and more effective. It cleans with only one stroke. It's a very fast step, you don't have to worry about it. Next, I've mattified the nail with a mattifying top coat. This will prevent your paint from slippering while doing the one stroke. And now with my one stroke square brush half dipped in black paint, I make a gradient on my palette. And then I'm gonna draw a one stroke monochrome. I draw what looks like a leaf. That will later look like a flower. I make three petals, or four, it depends. The aim is to have a black gradient color. It should not look like a simple black line. Make a little gradient. Then, all around I draw some bubbles. To do so, make an upside down U shape. Still with the one stroke technique and with half of the brush I add some more bubbles. Then with some more paint I complete the semicircle. This time it's a U shape. So I'm making the perspective and the shade of the drop and while the bubble dries I am going to add some more petals inside of the flower. And I am going to do that still with a gradient of black paint. I add some petals on the outside of the flower, very thin ones. And now to add some highlight to the bubbles, I'm gonna add some white paint in the curve of the circle. See, it looks much better now. I add some white paint in the flower too. And at the top of the bubble I'm gonna add a semi-column. That's to create a sort of a reflection. Then with the Tarte Fresh detail brush I add a spiral on the side. To make very thin designs you should always use very diluted paint. Since you're working on a matte surface it will work. Now, with the dotting tool, I add a small dot to the spiral to kink it. I apply a fluorescent stud that I bought on eBay. This kit of fluorescent stud is really nice. And finally, I apply a normal top coat. And that's it! Tell me what you think of this design in the comments below. And